Hello and thank you for joining me for another ITY video with top IT executives. Today I have with me Paul Shaw. He's the General Manager of HP Storage in the Enterprise Group in HP South Pacific. Welcome to the program. Hi Alex, thanks for having me. So although HP Enterprise should be well familiar to viewers and readers, can you please just give us the short version of what HP Enterprise does and your position as GM of storage. Sure. So if you look back at the enterprise covers you know our portfolios in server, storage, networks, um, technology services, HP software, and also our enterprise services group. Mm -hmm. um, the storage portfolio is obviously a big part of the enterprise group, and I'm responsible for um, that entire portfolio end to end and for Australia and New Zealand. Now, there's been a few uh, HP Enterprise announcements earlier this year in, I think, Las Vegas, yep. and there were some things, other things recently. What's the quick wrap before we get on to today's announcement? of what uh, HP Enterprise has been uh, up to in this space. Yeah, look, it's been a big year for us in HP Storage. Um, in Discover in Vegas, we announced the launch of the, the new Tier 1 3 part of 20,000 series, mm -hmm. and that's really been the main announcement for the year. There have been smaller announcements throughout the year, enhancements to our MSA portfolio, um, and obviously today's a big day where we announced the, the, the next generation of our mid-range product. So let's launch straight into that. What is this new mid-range product? And uh, you know what are the, what's obviously things like what are the value proposition of this product to, to mid-sized organisations and the benefits to Australians uh, businesses wanting to you know, take advantage of all flash storage. Sure. So so for us at HP, our storage strategy is really simple and it hasn't changed over the last few years. You know it's really clear and our customers are really, customers are really starting to see the benefits of it. So uh, the appropriate announcement today is the launch of the 8000 series 3 part store serve product. Mm -hmm. um, it's the, the next generation following on from the 7000 series product and it really continues to extend our, our thought leadership um, and um, enhances the benefits that our customers can achieve as they look to move towards you know, hybrid infrastructure and the all flash data center. So you know, today this announcement, the 8000 series product, it's really you know, cementing HP's promise about delivering in the all flash data center. So, I mean, this is now, this is a mid-tier product, but is this the, the leading new product? I mean, how does it all fit into your overall all-flash strategy? Sure, sure. So, so our, our storage strategy um, for primary storage centers around three parts. It's all around simplicity and it's common architecture end-to-end. -end. So if you look at our portfolio from the, from the, the entry space into that primary storage um, part of the market, we start with a new, now the three par um, store serve 8000 product, the 8200. Um, and as that moves up into the 8400 and the all flash versions of, of that product, the high end of the market is, is satisfied with the 20,000 series products. What we launched today is the, the 8200, the 8400, the 8440 and the 8450. So there's a few models in there, mm -hmm. um, but it's really about you know, enabling our customers you know, from, from, from SMB right up to the very highest tier one enterprises to have that, to obtain the benefits of that, you know, unique common architecture, the benefits the old flash data center delivers, you know, from very highest, you know, you know multiple, multiple terabytes and, and scale and performance, right down to a very small number of terabytes. So really exciting news and it, it really gives us commonality and, and enabling us to deliver on that promise right across the, the full breadth and depth of Australian customers. So great news for us. So some of the products still have traditional storage and spinning hard drives or is it all flash. So, so we, we, we satisfy, I suppose, both use cases, if that's the right term. Because, I mean, traditional storage is still cheaper than, than flash. Yeah, you know, it, we're, we're it's really, just slower. We're really at an inflection point in the market, and it's, this is such an awesome, it's a real privilege and honour for me to be leading the storage business at this time. These technology inflections, they really only come around so often in, in the industry, and, and right now we're right in the middle of one, um, and that's the that's the sort of revolution to all flash. Mm -hmm. um, so what you what you see in our in the products that we launched today is there's a combination of arrays that that will accommodate sp traditional spinning disk, mm -hmm. um, arrays that will are hybrid, which can accommodate traditional spinning disk and all flash, and then purely flash optimized arrays. And and the reason for that is to give customers choice. We've seen a huge um, uptake. Um, and, and customers looking to all flash arrays. You know, if you look at the market, um, we're now, you know, post Pure's um, S1 filing results, we've now moved to number two in the market globally. Mm -hmm. Gartner recognises us as the fastest growing vendor in all flash, which just is a phenomenal result. I think very flashing. We're, we're very flashing <laughs> and flattering. I think we're growing twice as fast as our nearest competitor. So that's just phenomenal news for us. And it really, you know, it gives us benefits that we can deliver to our customers. So like I said, you know, if you look at the, the roadmap for, for disk, you know, the roadmap for SSD, the, as the capacities just continue to increase, 
um, exponentially yeah, over incredible. the next few years. It really gives customers just huge benefits and, and cost savings and data center power and cooling and footprint. That, and, and that's I think that's what, that's the attraction to this all flash data center. Yeah, I mean it's the same sort of thing with consumers. You know, the flash Absolutely. drives are becoming so cheap that you know in droves people are upgrading. And, and but obviously in, in business terms, it's not just making your own computer faster, but you've got all those power savings and data centers and lower lower um, temperatures and Absolutely. all of that. So we, we've got customers today who are moving to the old flash data center who are saving more than seventy percent on power and cooling costs. I mean, experiencing you know ten x theoretical performance improvement, and in the real world, that's equating to you know sixty to ninety percent performance improvements sure. in the workloads that they're running. So the, the you know the promise is real and. The exciting part is we're absolutely delivering on it today. And presumably some of those savings uh, in power and TCO and all the rest is helping to for you guys to convince people to move straight to all flash because it pays for itself or to some degree. Yeah, you, you know, we've we've coined a term recently which is flash is free. Yeah. <laughs> and flash, it's quite cool, you know, flash is free. Well, how can it be free? And, and when you look at the power and cooling and floor space and cost savings, and, and, that, and that doesn't take into account, you know, some of the intangibles around productivity savings from staff, from mm. performance increase in applications. Um, yeah, so, you know, kind of flash is free. Uh, the, and one of the coolest things about it, I was speaking recently to some customers about application acceleration. Um, and we spoke about applications that are for traditional applications, and we spoke about applications that, you know, if you listen to Meg, she talks about the idea economy, applications that are formed in this new idea and economy. And that's of course for those wondering, that's Meg Whitman, the CEO of, of HP. Course, yeah. Yeah. Um, and when you, when you look at both of those applications, traditional and, and new style of, of applications, both can, both can um, participate and take advantage of the benefits of all flash equally. So we get customers um, you've got a customer who recently implemented a new hyperconvert solution on Flash technology, yeah. massive benefits. We've got customers who move traditional applications onto all Flash, and again, you know, those numbers I mentioned, seventy percent savings in performance, cooling, floor space. It's there for everyone, so fantastic. So, is this what HP means by the new style of business? So, so the new style of business for me, if I if I focus on storage, is is really about contemporary solutions with contemporary pricing. So for a long time, and, and it comes back to the inflection point, for a long time our customers have had um, have had a situation where you know the the, the technology has has been at a point where you know the, the legacy architectures have caused some. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Legacy architectures have probably presented, prevented customers from taking full advantage of some of the benefits that are available to mm -hmm. them. And with 3 part, what we've got is this new modern contemporary mesh active architecture. And because of that, that's what lets our customers take advantage of you know this this new new style of IT, contemporary solutions, contemporary um, contemporary pricing. So that that's where our customers are benefiting. Now, um, we already, you've already mentioned some of the different uh, features in the three part. I've got some technical questions here, which you may have already answered. So if you have, sort of just let me know and we'll sure. sort of move on. But, you know, what are some of the other new features that are in the three part store serve 8000 series that really you know, sets it apart from the 7000 and, and from your competition? Sure. So there's, there's probably a couple of elements to that question. The first one's the hardware. So as you can imagine, we've refreshed the hardware. So faster processors, the new Gen 5 ASIC, which is common to the 20,000 series of product. Mm -hmm. So the, the, you know, the, the compute power that you get in a 20,000 series is what you get also in an 8,000 series. And we're, that's unique to HP. You know, we're the only, the only vendor in the industry who has that commonality of architecture. So increased hardware, increased processor, increased um, uh, increased uh, cache increased and presumably the, fla the fastest flat or you know new next generation flash. Correct, next generation flash um, technology and, and our drives you know four terabyte flash drives which are really um, affecting that economy of you know that traditional dollar per gig pricing we spoke about two dollars and a dollar fifty a gig in the 20,000 series the mm -hmm. 8,000 enables us to get even lower into the market so you know more compelling price yeah. point for our customers to invest Makes it easier in. for them to just say absolutely. yes. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Flash is free. Yeah, so absolutely. so when you look at that, um, you know, hardware refresh, you know, so improved performance. And then from a software side of things, some really cool things from a software side. Does that include services, which you're about to say? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I am. So from yeah. a software perspective, we've got um, improvements to our quality of service, priority of optimization. And um, there's improvements around something called SmartSan, which improves our the time for configuration for fiber channel zoning. 
um, improvements across the board, really improvements. So we now have streaming async, which is another technical feature that's especially you know, appealing to service providers. Um, and, and yeah, so a, a range of, of software features that are also helping our customers you know, extract more value. And from a services perspective, you know, we, we've, we have, we've had a broad range of services in the past and that continues into the future. So we've got some really you know, cool and proactive support services with 3 Power, proactive care, mm -hmm. um, and, a, and a, I feel like a swag of, of consulting services around things like data migration, storage transformation experience workshops that help customers move from that traditional IT environment to perhaps a hybrid cloud environment, the all-flash data center, um, and really helps them construct that journey and how they take how they take advantage of some of the technology. And I would imagine you'd say that all the things you just said is what helps set you apart from your competitors. Yeah, look, I, I think the primary one is that commonality of architecture. You know, there's no other vendor who has a, a tier one, 15 petabyte, 3 million IOPS system. You can get the same architecture, software, features, function, services, and an array that costs $40,000. You know, so so that that is that's absolutely unique to HP, and and if you look at some of the analysts, so for example, and Gartner's Magic Quadrant for all flash array and for general purpose storage array, HP um, is in both Magic Quadrants for both for both categories. Yep. Now we are the only vendor in the market who has the same storage array, the same architecture, in both of those categories. So if you look in the all flash array, you'll see some some names. If you look in the general purpose array, the names are different. The only one who's in both Magic Quadrants with the same product is HP, and, that, and that's very cool because that's the bridge from traditional IT to the new style of business, new style of IT. Uh, that's the journey our customers are on, so we're uniquely positioned to help them with that. So presumably all this is available to your channel partners as well, and I mean there must be some other partner opportunities as well in the, in the channel space. Like uh, ab absolutely, our, our channel partners for me are absolutely critical to succe our success and to my success. A huge, a huge portion of, of our business goes through our channel partners. They're incredibly key to our success and also to delivering the solutions to our customers. So they're available to our partners today. You know they, they've been. They've been trained in the products, they're educated on it. And like I said, the difference between the 7,000 and the 8,000, while it's a hardware refresh and we've got software features and functions, it's the same product that's really helped set us apart from in the last two or three years since we've been selling the 3 plus 7,000 series. And um, so they're familiar with it today. It's for them, it's business as usual, and even more opportunity as we as we accelerate our growth and in, in, in all flash. Yeah. Now you're part of HP Enterprise, which yeah. is very, you know, explains that this is for enterprise, you know, it's an enterprise solution. But you know, what sort of what are the types of businesses and verticals that you're targeting? So, so you know, we're really it's it's a, an absolute cross vertical product. So as I said, that eighty two hundred can satisfy you know as small as four or five terabytes in capacity. So when you look at your typical customer today, right down to SMB, you know we, we sell a lot of that seventy two hundred eighty two hundred series product into the SMB category. So customers down there are taking advantage of it across verticals, across industry, and then as you get into the you know larger. Um, excuse me, commercial and public sector and then global enterprise customers, they, you know, we're seeing them take advantage too of not only the, the, the 8,000 series of products in all flash, but also the 20,000 series products. So customers across finance, manufacturing, telco and media, you know, it's really a, it's really a broad spectrum. And I mean, one of the things that people are very concerned about these days is security. We've had all these mm. hacks, hack attacks of various websites. Yeah. And you know, I mean, data is exploding. It's it's exponential. You know, we, we must be creating petabytes of data every day as a as a species. So, you know, anything else that you can tell us about how business should, should be managing this, especially for their end users, and and what is HP doing to really increase security? Yeah. So for, look, from a security. Exp perspective you know the three parts are, are available with encryption so we have security technologies you know built in and available with three part that can help our customers with that um, and you know specific to what customers can be doing around that data explosion for, for me you know the technology is now at a point where like we said there's this inflection of flash storage has become so much cheaper we've got um, deduplication and compaction which assists with our customers you know really compress the volumes mm. of data so you know as the data every every good storage presentation starts with a 
uh, a story about data explosion. Yeah. Um, but when you look at the storage market, you know it's relatively flat. So in, in South Pacific, the market I think next year is predicted to grow by about you know two hundred basis points. So based on that, and you've got this this data explosion, you know sometimes it can be difficult to find the correlation. But for me, the correlation is around that massive increase in capacity. Um, now performance is almost no longer a factor as we move away from spinning disks to all flash. Um, and then we find ourselves, I suppose, in, in, that, in that situation where, you know, the, the data explosion, the, the improvements in technology are really containing that. So from a, from a, to come back to your point about security, from a security perspective, for me it's really important to have, you know, a, a records management plan, um, and understand the system of record behind the data. That that's key to it. Technology technology is one part of it, but understanding what data you're storing for how long, understanding the records management aspect of it for me is really key is really key. So I mean you've already mentioned I guess some of the developments in the storage space that HP's been working on, but are there any other ones that you're really excited about? Things that are coming? I mean, you know, what's the future of, of storage? We hear things about holographic storage, Intel mm. and Micron are supposed to have come up with a way to multiply the amount of flash that uh, a flash drive can have by a thousand yeah. these are all pretty i mean and there's still that's all down the track but you know what what does the the future hold you know certainly the 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 roadmap is very focused on on, on all flash you know that i think that's where the future lies if you look in hp you know and, and best place to look at this is online and um, people talk about the machine and it's really that convergence of um, of the compute power, our storage, and our network into that um, pool of storage that customers can take advantage of. So as our customers move from traditional IT to hybrid, and then into that ultimately that new ID economy, and that will take time. You know, I, I think you'll see the convergence of server storage and networks. You know, come together e even more than it is today in some of our converged systems platforms. The data will become closer to the the CPU in the way that some of our applications like SAP HANA are, are moving today. Um, and that, I think that's where the future lies. That well, that's the data center of the future. Continued right? convergence, yeah, data center of the future, um, data center converged infrastructure. So yeah, I think you're going to see more in the future from HP, really around the machine and data center converged infrastructure. As we get to the end, I always like, or towards the end, I always like to ask, just to change the pace a little bit, a question inspired by Ashton Kutcher when he came to Australia. And he was oh. talking about the sort of questions that people were asking him. And, um, and he, always, he suggested that a good question to ask somebody to to learn something new is to ask what is the best piece of advice that you've ever received to help you get you where you are today. Mm. You know, it's an interesting one. Um, and the, the you, I mean, all flash would be go all flash would be one good piece of advice. But there, must be, <laughs> <laughs> there must be some others. <laughs> yeah, you know, some, someone said one to me recently, um, and I'll clarify the I'll clarify what it means. Sure. So they, what they said to me was, um, you get what you inspect, not what you expect. Now, inspection has a connotation, you know, that people are, are perhaps overly inspecting you and, and it's not something that's enjoyable. But for me, it's about focus. You get what you focus on. Yeah. Um, and, and for us, for me anyway, you know, in the past year running the storage business, we've really focused hard on building the right culture in our team, you know, building strong engagement with our channel partners, you know, really focusing on the customer. Um, I think if you orient yourself around the customer and you focus on them, then, then naturally good things happen. And we, we've spent a lot of time this year doing that. So I think you get what you inspect, not what you expect. And for me, that's just about focus. Yeah, well, that's really interesting. Thanks for sharing that. Okay. So any final messages for ITY viewers and readers and for HP's current and future customers? You know, like a big thank you for, for coming in and, th and thanks for taking the time today. For, for me, like I said, we're at a real inflection point in the industry. Um, when I speak to our customers, I, I kind of hear them talk in four elements. The first one is in that technology inflection. Should I, should I sweat my assets? Should I upgrade it now? Should I wait for all flash? Is the time right? Should I, should I adopt tiering? So at HP, we really want to own that technology inflection space. And you know, the launch of 8,000 product really continues to help us fulfill the promise of the data center, mm -hmm. the, the, the all flash data center, data center converged infrastructure. So, you know, that's one part, understand the technology inflection. The second part is the workload. You know, the reason for this technology infrastructure is to underpin a workload. So what is that workload? Is it virtualization? Is it VDI? Is it SAP HANA? You know, understanding the workload and giving the, the LOB, the line of business, mm -hmm. the right outcome for the workload. 
third one, I suppose, is, is the consumption model. How are you going to consume this? Are you going to consume it via capital, via an operational cost? Is it going to be public or private or hybrid? Um, and then the last one for me is, is, is a managed service. So I'm, I'm starting to hear customers talk more about when they talk about consuming as a service, consuming an outcome, and ultimately starting to consume a managed service. So for, for me, the advice is, you know, if you think along those four pillars of technology inflection, workload, um, consumption, and, and then the, the management of the service and the outcome, I think if you can connect those four elements, then you're well on your way to you know, building a good solution and a good outcome for your business. Well, Paul, congratulations on the new launch today, and best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Alex.